Well, they've just turned the pump on here, starting to pump more sand up here on the beach in SoCal. I'm headed down to do the morning briefing for you. Looking forward to another great report and a beautiful sunrise here in Southern California. Exciting news from Blacktail Hooks, my friends. They now have announced they have ringed Mutu circle hooks and ringed live bait hooks in a variety of sizes. Pick them up today at Island Fishing Tackle. <laughs> Hey, good morning, my dear friends, and welcome to this beautiful Friday morning here in Southern California. I am in Surfside, California, right between Seal Beach and Huntington Beach, and it's an absolutely gorgeous, beautiful sunrise this morning. I hope you're doing well, and I hope you have your cup of coffee ready. We're going to talk about a little rain heading our way, maybe some wind. We'll cover the weather and the extended forecast. Is there a super El Nino brewing? Man, that could be really something in terms of our fishing here in the eastern pacific and more specifically in northern baja and here in southern california we'll take a look at cabo san lucas the long range team the rockfish the lobster and yes the bluefin tuna back in the picture again they're not going anywhere they're going to bite all year long you know what time it is it's time for the morning briefing good morning my friends mm. What a great morning. It's Friday. I hope you're going to have a great weekend. I know we're bearing down on Christmas and what a year it has been. In fact, I can't thank you enough for all the likes you've given us here at Friedman Adventures, whether it's on our social media, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or it's right here on our YouTube channel. It's been an incredible year and I can't thank you enough. Over 10 million views now here on Friedman Adventures, and I deeply, deeply, deeply owe that all to you and cannot thank you enough. And we have so many more great adventures planned for you in 2024. 24 ought to be an absolutely great year. We're going to move into some travel videos, do some stuff in Mexico and other parts of the world, and I am so looking forward to bringing that to you all. The great outdoors, more specifically sport fishing, We'll be bringing you so much more in 2024 and really looking forward to it. Don't forget to hit that like button. Please share these videos with a friend. And if you tick the bell, you'll be notified when there is new content. And of course, subscribe to the Friedman Adventures channel. Here we are in Surfside in this Surfside area, as well as all the way down to Newport, I believe, is getting the sand replenishment. And it really has been fascinating to see how much our beach has grown in such a short amount of time as they continue to pump more sand in here and uh, stop the erosion process or stave it off, let's say that. So really fascinating stuff here. All right, let's jump into it with you. Let's talk weather for a moment. It looks like we're going to start to get some rain. You know, very typical here in Southern California during an El Nino that the jet stream dips down and starts to funnel wet weather into SoCal. It doesn't look like right now it's going to be a huge amount of rain, but we're going to be kind of drizzly every single day with some rain Tuesday through Friday of next week. Significant rainfall, you know, like a half inch or an inch, but that is so volatile that it's subject to change. We may get very little rain or we may get a deluge. We'll just have to wait and see. In terms of wind, most of that will be up in the northern sector, say up there around Ventura, the Channel Islands, up in that neck of the woods. And we're only going to get a little bit of that. So wind maybe Wednesday, Thursday of next week. And here in the LA Orange County area and down to the border and below that into northern Baja, doesn't look like all that much wind. So we should be in really good shape. Let's talk Mexico for a second, and we'll go down to the Cape, Cabo San Lucas, where there remains really good striped marlin fishing, some blue marlin, occasional wahoo, some dorado down there in that neck of the woods, and some really good hits on the yellowfin tuna. A beautiful time of the year to be down there in Cabo San Lucas right now, and I hope you can get down there soon and enjoy it. 
coming up 140 miles below the border, seeing Cantine area, good rockfish, occasional yellows down there, some big bonita, and some halibut also biting. And then we get you up to beautiful Ensenada, Baja, California. You know, it's great. You hit the border, and it's about an hour drive south. That's it. And it's a gorgeous drive to go from, say, Tijuana down to Ensenada. Beautiful, pristine views of the Coronado Islands and that rugged Baja coast. You go by Sasepuedas and Playa Saldamondo. You arrive in Ensenada, and it's always such a beautiful and great drive. Once again, rockfish and big bonita down there in the Ensenada area right now. There's a whole bunch of operators down there, and most of them, if not all, well, I won't say all because I'm fished all, but most just provide such a great experience. They work hard. They put you on fish. You come back, and normally you get like a little sashimi kind of feast. It's really great. Ensenada still going along really, really well. All right, we mentioned to you that there's been great long-range fishing, and that has been continuing. This is such a great time of the year to be on an 8 to 10-day trip and head down the Baja Coast where you see really the variety that Baja can offer you during this time of the year. Dorado, yellowtail, yellowfin tuna, wahoo, big grouper, calico bass, uh, all kinds of different species down there during this time of the year. And the trips that I've seen and the ones that are currently going on have not let anyone down. It has been a great long range year down there in that neck of the woods. We have an eight day trip next year on the beautiful, massive, gorgeous Independence sold out in a matter of weeks. And we've just added a five-day trip in April, which has all kinds of possibilities written all over. It'll be from the 4th through the 9th, five days on the Independence with Friedman Adventures. Can't wait to see you on board that one. I'm thinking bluefin tuna, white sea bass, halibut, rockfish, who knows what else, especially if this El Nino pushes into that time of the year. And it looks like this super El Nino, and it's not a super El Nino quite yet, but this El Nino is going to last through the spring and perhaps into the summer. So we may have a little bit warmer water temperatures. You just never know. On five-day trip, you could be running into all kinds of great possibilities. April 4th through the 9th, Friedman Adventures on board the Independence. We hope to see you there. All right. Blue Fantuna back in the picture again. It's not like they were out of the picture, but really the Polaris Supreme is the only guy who's been trying to catch those Blue Fantuna. Had a really great trip, and then it kind of was a bummer trip. Now he's run another really great trip. 24 guys, two-day trip, 56 Blue Fantuna, considering that we are knocking on the door of Christmas. That is remarkable, if you ask me. So there's still Blue Fin around, and Guys like Captain Danny Cadota has his own show here on the Freeman Adventures family. Put on a great one last night. It's archived for you. You can go back and watch it right now. Danny covered a myriad of different fishing topics that I know you're going to enjoy. But Danny says there's so much market squid here in our local waters in Southern California. Squid at the island, squid on the banks, squid on the local scene up there in County Line around Ventura here at Point Furman, out at Catalina Island, squid everywhere. And that squid acts as a magnet in the whole food chain scenario. It just brings predators in, and in this case, holds predators here. So that bluefin tuna that is out there on the banks right now is not going to go anywhere because they have a food source, and that food source is going to hold those BFT right here, I have no doubt about that. It's also going to have an impact in terms of our spring bite in 2024. I'm thinking that a lot of great sea bass and halibut fishing await us. It's going to be a remarkable 2024 spring bite. And right now, that squid is going to continue to hold that bluefin tuna. A lot of that fish, that bluefin right now, is being caught at night down around Punta Colinet. Punta Colinet is part of Mexico. It's down the Baja coast from Tijuana, about 120 miles, and that's where a lot of it has been. But there's no doubt that there's probably fish on Tanner Bank and Cortez Bank, maybe the 43 Fathom spot, maybe the 60 Mile Bank. Those are all banks here off of Southern California that have had bluefin all year long. We just have a lack of coverage right now. Not that many boats out, and as a result, 
you kind of have to really figure it out, bounce around and figure out where those fish are. All right, so we still have bluefin tuna. It's pretty remarkable. I'm not sure if anybody's going to be running any more trips, but I think the Polaris Supreme still has some trips planned. Check with Sea Forest Sport Fishing. You'll get more information on that great rock fishing up and down the Southern California coast right now from Ensenada, where the local guys down there have been catching great amounts of colorful and good eating rockfish up to San Diego, to Dana Wharf, all the way up the beach. We continue to see some excellent rock fishing up there in the Channel Islands. It's been fantastic. Ventura Sport Fishing, 805-676-3474. Endeavor still running some open party trips. you got the California, the Half Day Boat, and the Island Spirit. You can jump on with any one of those guys and get the job done beautifully up there at Cisco's Island Spirit's been running trips. The gentleman has been out on a regular basis. We see great rock fishing up there in Burgess and Morro Bay, Avila Beach, up in Monterey with lots of lingcot, up and down the coast of rockfish bite. Remains spectacular in SoCal. That's going to close. Don't forget, that closes on January the 1st, so you better get your links in. You can load up the freezer with some of that really great eating rockfish. We also see some pretty good bass fishing here and there in this late fall bite, almost winter time now. But we see some good bass fishing up and down the coast. Tremendous fishing at nights. Well, I won't say tremendous fishing, but you catch some big grumpy sand bass. Most of the time you're fishing a lead head and squid. Fresh dead will work fine. Live is uh, also an option available to you. I think they bite the fresh dead as well as the live, but fishing some heavy line because you're in some structure that can be quite treacherous. So you're fishing shipwrecks or sharp rocks and a little bit heavier line will always do you really, really well. Hey, good morning. So make sure you fish as heavy a line as you can get away with. 40 pound would be great. 25 pound will work really well. Flow carbon, we definitely want to see you fish with that. And there's been some good bass fishing, Marina del Rey, Redondo, as I mentioned, check around and you can find some really excellent fishing. Local boats, half, three quarter day guys in Southern California right now focused on sheep's head, whitefish, rockfish, and they've been doing quite well at all of the Southern California landings. Really, really excellent fishing going on there. Beautiful sunrise here this morning. Hope you get out and take advantage of it here this weekend, whether you're fishing, going for a hike, walking on the beach, you've got to love it. It's gorgeous. And I hope you get out and get to enjoy lobster hoop netting. Still really good. There's been some great lobster hoop netting going on. Uh, Dana Wharf Sport Fishing, Tony G, and a bunch of friends were out of there here recently and had some great lobster hoop netting there. We've seen great local lobster hoop netting. You can check with various landings, but LA Harbor, they've had some great lobster hoop netting down in San Diego. We continue to see it. In up in the Santa Monica Bay, private boaters, kayakers, also getting in on some great lobster hoop netting. I will tell you that right now. There's still the occasional halibut to be taken here in the surf. Christopher Imbro, he had that halibut. It was short, but he's had several legals here this year and continues to hammer away. Again, fishing Lucky Crafts or a little chrome jig like a crocodile or a castmaster is one of my favorite ways to take flatties here in the Southern California surface. The water temperature is cool. You'll see more barred perches. They love to bite in the wintertime here in SoCal and Northern Baja. That is such a great place. I should really put together a safari down there, get a bunch of you guys and take you down there and show you how off the hook that barred perch fishing can be down there. And sometimes a many other species to go along with it. But some really good surf fishing for guys like Richard Cayo, who continue to do it on a regular basis. You know, Captain Tino Valentine, he loves fishing the surf. He's more of a Corbina guy, but he'll fish anything in the surf also. And also we see some good surf fishing up in the Santa Monica Bay. We've seen it up there in County Line around Ventura. Pretty much the whole surf is still pretty alive. And as you can see, gorgeous conditions for that right now. All right, my friends, we'll continue to keep you in touch with all the very latest. And we are wishing you Nothing short of your fabulous outdoor weekend here in SoCal. And if you venture across the border, you can feel the Christmas spirit in Baja, California also. Hey, have a great one. 
And as always, I hope to see you really, really soon.